very easily. So if you did, if you never uh, had a chance to read a book and he was he was he was grow up without uh, any book, uh, he was like living in a jungle. Mm -hmm. How did you find out as a creator? It's easy. He was grow growing in a forest, let's say like a Tarzan, like say. Yeah, exactly. With knowledge, zero I, knowledge. I was going to I was going no, to actually no, even mention no. that point, but you did it because you are a critical minded person, precisely. If people grow up in a Amazonian no, jungle or a forest, because I grew up uh, in Italy, I am going to, and I, I didn't get a different culture. But your you question, know, your question, I eat in pasta, is, I eat in pizza, is a I don't very so anything else because it, no, it, it, no, no. the area is not this kind of knowledge. The question that you ask yeah. is a very important and intelligent one. In fact, we use this question and a scenario for people to reflect on. What we say is this. Even if you were brought up, say 5,000 years ago, in a Brazilian jungle or an Amazonian jungle, where there's no Christianity, there is no Islam through Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and so on, right? There is no Hindus there, there is no Jewish people there. Even then, it is possible for us to come to the realization that one, that there is a creator of this universe. Two, that this creator is one and only and absolute. Three, that we are created for a purpose. Four, we're going to die, we're not going to live anymore all the time. We will die, come to an end. And there has to be something after death. Because people, some people follow good ways and some people follow bad ways. The end destination cannot be the same. Justice demands that there has to be a day of reckoning. There has to be a day but of judgment. Someone can be selfish to think about only for himself. And that's and why. Grow up and, and that's move why. On is genetic. Like that is why. Children. That is why. Do a cheater and say, okay, do whatever you like. In some the, people. In this planet. Some people do that, and so that is why. You. Do you? Is, is, do you know what Islam says? Islam says, don't be selfish. In fact, it says, you know, the wealth that you but have. Selfish is, is in, a, in a way not to thinking about others. I can still talk to others. If I'm selfish, that I, it's me now. I grow up my kids, uh, the wife, uh, and move on with my life. Yeah, but you have to look but after other with people. The simple things, not to get too to, complicated. To, because life is very complicated. To give you, itself. to give you an example, our Prophet yeah. Islam, our Prophet, our Prophet said, you know, you are not even a believer that you go yourself fully fed, and your neighbor starves to death in hunger. You're not even a believer. A believer has to make sure his neighbors don't die of starvation. Doesn't matter who your neighbor is. An atheist neighbor or a Christian neighbor or a Jewish neighbor, a Hindu neighbor, doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a Muslim neighbor. Your neighbor is your neighbor. Our wealth that I was going to explain to you about, that we earn maybe thousands of pounds or millions of pounds, whoever you are, how rich or how rich you are. No, it doesn't mean our, money. Our wealth, our wealth is not, it's not all of our, our, our wealth. In Islam, the poor people and the needy have a right on our wealth. Right. I have to give two and a half percent of my surplus wealth to the poor. Why because it's theirs, it belongs to them. That shows how Islam doesn't demand to people become selfish. Islam wants to make everyone you know come no, to I the didn't, whole I humanity. Didn't say selfish for to, to have greedy with money. It's money, to wealth think about myself. In, in Not society. To go to the essential buildings like churches. Moscow or no, no, I'm saying, places. I'm saying throughout. Why? You have to look after. Just, look, just you have to look after everyone. Um, by the way, if anyone's recording and we have children being um, recorded, can you blur it out, please? Yeah. This is for all the cameramen. If the children are in the camera, please blur, blur it out afterwards before you publish. So if you're doing live, stop doing live because we have children here uh, being in the camera. Is that right? Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Fine. So what we are saying is, as we have spoken about the Creator. Even in an Amazonian jungle, we can come to the conclusion that there's a creator. And this creator is one and only and absolute. We can come. Your question earlier on, but as you said. You like to discover, of course. No, no. Everything, where, where, when, when you say come to the you conclusion. When you go to the city, you want to discover the city. It's okay. Because you can't think about how oh, the same road. The we same can thing. conclude by reasoning. Excuse me. Brothers, <laughs> leave her, leave her alone. What we're saying is, your question that you said about, what about the creator who was created by a creator and so on. That is a that silly, is, a silly is a, exactly. There's no need to answer them. Fine. So <laughs> ultimately, to, ultimately, <laughs> we need to sit at the table and have a Ultimately, table. ultimately, we will come to the realization that there is one Creator who is absolute, independent, one, and unique. Not someone who is born. Not someone who produces children. 
and not someone who's like us. Do you know what I described? Chapter 112 of the Quran, the book that God gave to his final messenger. This is what it says. I will I'll tell you in Arabic and tell you the translation. In fact, I've told you already. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 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 Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say, God, he is one, only, and unique. Fuck off. Allahu samad. He is absolute, eternal, independent. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He is not born and he doesn't produce offspring and children. Walam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. And there is none like unto him whatsoever in any way comparison. Any way you want to compare, there's nothing like unto God. That is what we talk about the Creator. This. Please, please. Can you leave her alone, please? Yeah? So that's what we're talking about. We are saying the concept of God, our Creator, the Quran provides, your heart and your mind will be happy with it, content and satisfied with it. And this is what Prophet Muhammad, who came 1400 years ago, 1400 years. No, 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 no. Being the last of the messengers, of, on the prophets. Okay. There were many other prophets and messengers who were sent to all nations in the past, but people corrupted the message. So he was sent as the final messenger with the finality of the message of Islam, meaning pure submission to God, our creator. So that is the Quran. So I invite you to read about his life, his mission, his message, and read the Quran. And when you read the Quran, you will see how it engages with you, telling you about you know, well, your purpose like in life. I am. I'm happy like I am. That's the problem. And I don't need nothing at all. Because if I'm like that today, because I'm not reading stuff. What happens when we That's die? That's the problem. What, where do we go the after day, we die? The day is going to come for everyone. No, no, after, choose even your death. No, no, happens. after that what happens? Some people say, oh, I'm going to do this before I die. And maybe I'm no. going to go Marvis. in a different dimension. Marvis, imagine, imagine. We, not, I just want you to imagine, if we are created for a particular purpose, remember what we said, we have, must have a specific purpose, and we did not fulfill that, it's like this. You and I going to an examination hall, and then we don't know what paper is being examined. Is it quantum mechanics, or is it astrophysics, or is it simple biology, we don't know. And then we will fail the exams. And what is the consequence of failing the exams? If we fail the exam of our life, we cannot blame our Creator, we have to blame ourselves that we not only we did not seek and search for what the purpose of life was and we did not even fulfill it. So in the hereafter, which is a reality, this life is not the only, only life, if I was an open then we will be at a loss. I wasn't here to talk to you, that's the things, because I'm You are open-minded, you are my friend, that's what I'm speaking with my friend, you, open you are open-minded, you are a nice a person, you are a critical person. I believe in something very strictly, I wasn't even Exactly, exactly. I wasn't even coming here. Exactly, Marvis. I was so discovering you. Everyone stuff. who listened to you would that. know you are open-minded, and not only that, you're critical. The questions that you brought is critical thinking. So you're critically appraising things. So what we are saying is, we are just making that extension for you. Please, no, the take, things, uh, take that, take that logical the step forward. Lost yet. When somebody is lost, uh, maybe try to get a friendship or maybe read a book uh, because you feel alone. Maybe you feel lost, uh, like feeling lost. But at the moment, I'm not feeling lost. So I'm very strong in my mind. It's very strong. So I don't feel any parts of any situation okay. at the moment. What if? Because uh, I'm still evolving with sure. my mind uh, because I'm not a child anymore. What if? So what I'm if? Growing. What if? We expire. I'm just using the language that children don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What if we expire? tomorrow right then we would not have fulfilled our purpose because we haven't even found out right according to you we would not have found out our purpose that means we would have failed in the objective of our purpose that means in the hereafter it's not, race, uh, it's not race it's, it's not, not about race, race. Uh, it's not a race to, to get older it's the way how to live but, every but, single day but do you not consider it is wiser and more responsible to find out yeah, the wise true wise purpose. You get, uh, more trouble you no, get about in the your purpose. Life. About Sometimes the purpose. Sometimes it's better to be stupid and you have a normal life than ever be wise and, and thinking about lots of things in once. Do you really feel that you want because to gamble they your say life? More people intelligent they are, more difficult they are to fall asleep. Hmm. Can you believe? Because you got so many things coming in your brain sure. and they can't even sleep. That's the scientist things they say. Hmm. I'm not taking seriously that, but you know. Some people, uh, they got difficulties. Some people, they can sleep uh, straight away. Like, uh, when you close the eyes, people, they can switch it off. Yeah. Just imagine. 
when you go to, when you know you, that you need to fly somewhere else or you go a nice meeting or whatever you got difficulties you know your brain is active so you know that it's something that, that you want to do but when you when your life is very meaningless you don't even think about it. you're just falling down and sleep and everything like that and you, you wake up and you do the same things over and over but why are you disturbing him if he's happy like that and he's not disturbing no one huh, and he's doing his life that's it so you basically, give him some extra because so if you, if you tell basically, him, if you tell him the, 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 the burger is better than another place, I say no. I'm happy with that. No, but it's, it's, it's better. Maybe even cheaper. Oh yeah, okay, I'll go in. So if he's happy with that, just leave him like that. So if someone is happy but if with their health, lives, uh, yes. If it's if it's about health, if it's about smoking, let's say, yeah, yeah. let's say smoke is bad. Right. And now we know smoke is bad. Okay. So tell him, but don't say okay. like. Uh, I want to. I want bad. to. I want to just explain to you one final concept. The concept of heaven and hell. No, Hellfire. No, 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 no. When you say story, the, <laughs> the creator who created us but we'll created us. What mean hell as well. I'm explaining. Is it ground floor? I'm explaining. Is it up? Is it I'm explaining. Is it Mars? I'm explaining. You don't want to be there. <laughs> no. Now, the creator. Already going to PlayStation. Already going there. The creator who created us created it without free will, and inevitably, some people will not exercise their free will accordingly and appropriately. They will Whatever be arrogant. I'm fight. I'm they will. Fight for my they, right they will not. There. They will not fulfill their objective of their life, mm. and because of the justice of our Creator, they will end up in this hellfire, which is eternal torment, punishment, and suffering. Now, no one this is very scary, should go there. Very no one would like to go there, and we don't want anyone to go there. We cannot gamble our life. And take that risk yeah, of going even to hell for place, yeah, it's very scary. Please, please, please. Even cold is very scary. Yes, I know. Uh, what like I'm saying is, nice, uh, how can you feel happy? <laughs> Minus the fifty. I want to see how you think can about. Live. Think about this. Uh, how can you feel happy, knowing that you don't know when we're going to expire? That means we don't know whether fulfill our purpose of our life is, and gambling and risking our life in the year after that we might end up in this nasty place, the hellfire. Of torment and suffering do you really feel happy to make that gamble if you have a chance to I mean look in Islam we don't gamble at all full stop there is no gambling right so, but if you wait, 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 I want to make one example we don't gamble but I'm gonna give you a scenario for gambling right imagine in a gambling the probability of you winning you winning is one in a billion, 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 trillion, 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 trillion chance, right? You've got all of this chance of getting it, no win, loss, only one chance to write. Mathematically, that's like almost impossible, right? And the game is this, either if you win, you have your children and your family, and if you lose, they'll be all in the electric chair. You know what it means, right? Would you gamble? Would you be happy to gamble? Knowing that the probability of you winning is this. The risks are so great. I would never gamble like this, even though we don't gamble. But I'm saying, conceptually, the risk is so high. I would be scared. I would not be happy. The hereafter, the, about the hellfire, that you will suffer and be burned eternally with no end never to come out eternally not one year not one million years not one billion years not one zillion years not one trillion years not one googleplex years how big is the number it's for eternity with no end that destination imagine there do we really want to gamble our life i want to leave you with this thought think about it my friend if you think that is quite serious for you to reflect on it, then pick up a Quran and read it and see what it says about you. Shall we leave it to that? Let's, let's leave it like that. Eh? All right. Thank you, my friend nice Maris. Nice talking to you. Take care. Take care. Excuse me. Can I ask you?